Hi, Julie here for another Sunday snippet. This week we're going to um, go back into the filter gallery and we're going to have a look at Liquify. Um, now this is a scary tool um, and it can do horrible things to images um, but when it is used correctly and when it is used minimally you can do some amazing things um, and it's a fabulous tool. So what I have done is I have made a duplicate layer because you don't want to work on your main layer just in case you do muck it up and when you start playing with the filter gallery it's quite easy to stuff things up. So if we go into filter and we're going to go into liquify. Now depending on your version of Photoshop, your liquify could look a little different to mine. This is the latest version. Now I've got this photo of Lexi and it's beautiful, but she has actually got a couple of little flat spots in her hair and I want to fix those up. So what I'm going to do, I have got my forward warp tool. Now we've got a couple of different ones. We've got um, a smooth tool and a reconstruct tool which don't really use that much. There's the twirl tool which you could have a lot of fun with in the right aspect but I haven't bothered with it. The pucker tool which makes things shrink and there's a bloat tool which makes things enlarge so you could do that for eyes and things like that. You've also got the face tool which allows you to come in and do it picks up everything in the face so you can see where it's correcting the eyes, the mouth, the nose, the chin and all the rest of it. So you can make changes through here if you wish to. Um, you can even make it more of a smile if you wanted to. Be careful though. Um, you can make somebody frown too if you wanted to. Um, I'm just going to make that zero. Um, but all I want to do is just the forward warp tool and there's a little bit of a flat spot there. I just want to pull it up. So you want to have your brush a little bit bigger than the area you're trying to move. And I'm just going to pull it out here just a little bit. Now you've got to be very careful when you use this tool because it will blur the pixels around here. And I'm sure you've seen all those Photoshop fails where they've tried to make somebody look really skinny but the banister behind them has been curved in and warped, things like that. Um, yeah, that you have to be careful of. Um, but just doing simple things like that, I'm just sort of fixing her hair up a little bit. Just small little movements. And that's got a hair fix. So that's before and after. So it's just subtle. Just, just subtle. Um, and that's the trick to using it. So that's before and that's after using the liquify tool just to fix up a little bit of hair. Perhaps later we can have a look at doing um, some other things with the liquify tool. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next week. Bye for now.